So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can buy a Lamborghini from just one eBay product. Now disclaimer, this video is not for everybody. If you're the sort of person that's pessimistic, you don't believe in yourself, you have a lot of self-doubt, uh, then this video isn't for you, then click away and carry on with your day. But for those of you that can take action, you, you've got the ability to, to listen and follow simple instruction, uh, this could work for you. So this is a Hurricane Puffer Mante, and I'm not showing you this to show off, I'm just showing you what's possible if you're willing to learn a couple of things. Silver one! That's tempting, man. Oh, oh, she smells good. Mm, that Alcatara, isn't it? Oh, I can smell that Octane, man. She smells lovely. <laughs> Okay, mate, let me get my buttock in there. So I used to have a crappy nine till five job and I could never afford cars like this. So cars that I had before was like cars like this one here. I've still got it actually, I keep it kind of as a reminder. So you know, it makes, when you see stuff like this a little bit more special. Uh, so you know, I just started my life of, of working online about 10 years ago. I learned many different things from many different people. I put it all to action. I'm just an average guy, you know, I just came from a normal nine to five job and all this stuff that I learned is, is stuff that anybody can pretty much learn. I'm kind of like living proof of that. If I can do it, then pretty much anyone can do it. But anyway, this is enough about me. This video is more so I can show you guys so you guys can get what you want in life. You know, not everybody wants fast cars. But uh, you know, some people they might just want to quit their nine to five job. They want to be independent and be able to work for themselves. Some people just want to make a bit of extra money so they can buy the nice house that they've always dreamt of. Other people want to go on more vacations or holidays. You know, everybody's got different hopes and dreams. Uh, but if you listen up in this video, then this could help you reach your hopes and dreams and your goals that you have in life. And maybe one day you can quit your dreaded nine to five job and, and have the nicer things in life. But you must be willing to jump out of your comfort zone. You must be willing to learn new things and try new ideas. Uh, and then this stuff can become a reality. Anyway, that's enough waffling. So in a minute, we're gonna jump into my PC. Uh, one of the best selling products that I used to have are these pull starters for remote controlled cars. Now I showed people what I was selling and it kind of killed the whole listing because everybody copied. So a skill that you guys are gonna to have to learn is how you find your own products, not copy other people's products. Well, you can copy other people's products, but you know, if everybody copies the exact same product, uh, then you're gonna struggle. So you've got to do the same research that I'm doing here, and then you can use that to find winning prof uh, products. Uh, so let's jump into my PC and I'll show you how I find products. So here we are on eBay, and um, I'm here in the UK. Uh, whatever country you're from, you're gonna have to go onto your eBay site from whatever country you're from. So you guys in America are gonna be eBay.com. And by the way, you guys in America have got a big advantage over us guys in the UK, because you've got three times the population, and there's a lot more online activity over in the United States. There's many more sales going on. So whatever I can do here in the UK, you guys are gonna be able to do much better over in the States. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'll start off with just by thinking of any sort of random product just so, so we can find the seller. So in this case, I'm just gonna put in RC pool starter and just see what sellers come up. RC car pool, there we go, RC car pool start. And I'm just gonna click on the first one and I can see straight away that these aren't making much money anymore. You know, I used to, I used to sell these uh, for, you know, this is a metal one here, but I used to sell mainly the plastic ones and the same as this one here. And they used to sell anywhere from around about 15 pounds roughly, all the way up to sort of roughly 20 pounds, something like that. And I used to pay around about three pounds, three pounds for them. So there's a good profit in that. Uh, so this dude here, if he's paying three pounds for them, uh, by the time he's paid for shipping and everything, there's not really any money left. So it's 
probably not worth doing. It may well be, you know, we could do some different keywords. We could do some different, we can make the listing different. So maybe we could, but from what I can see, uh, I want to see what other stuff he's selling. So I go over to over this area here and I'll click on see other items. I can see that he's not a massive seller. He's got 5,000 feedbacks. Uh, so, you know, this is, it's, it's kind of like a medium size seller, a smaller size seller, but we can definitely get some good ideas from him. So then what we want to do, we want to come up here and make sure that we have best match selected. And what that's, what that's normally going to do is it's going to put his most popular products at the top. So we want to have a look to see if there's any prof, uh, products that he has uh, that we could potentially sell at a profit. So uh, we don't want to do pool starters. I already know there's not any money in that. Uh, next one down. Now I'm doing this sort of real time. So, you know, I don't know. Most of the time when we find the product and we do some research on them, um, they're not normally worth doing. So we've got to go through a few of these uh, to find one that could potentially be a winning product. So I've actually got a cheat sheet uh, and I haven't got time to go go into it in this video, but it's literally just a sort of criteria of what I look at at products, you know, sort of different product criteria. I don't want the products to be too big. Something that I can send out in like a small envelope, perfect. Something that is relatively cheap to buy, sort of under five pounds or under five dollars is ideal. You know, if we start selling expensive stuff, uh, if people start saying they haven't received it or anything like that, we're losing more money. If we can stick to cheap stuff, then we can sell it a, a bigger profit. Um, I found that way it's a lot easier. And also, it's a lot cheaper for us to buy the stuff. Um, also, we want something that's not likely to, to sort of break too easily or something that's likely to hurt somebody because that could lead us to getting sued. So you want to sort of stick to stuff that's simple, uh, reliable, uh, small and cheap for the most part. There's more criteria as well, but that's kind of like the, the most of it. So coming down here, uh, what's this thing here? Uh, 10 empty box storage box container compartment for false eyelashes. Oh, okay. So this could potentially be something. So, ah, so they're just, they're just storage boxes for putting in false eyelashes. Uh, so he's selling these for £5.82 for a set of 10. So, okay. What you want to do is, is maybe just copy and paste this compartment for false eyelashes. And one of the places that I like to buy inventory from is AliExpress. The good thing with AliExpress is it's not the cheapest place. You can get cheaper if you go directly to Alibaba. Alibaba is where you find wholesalers and manufacturers directly. You should on there be able to get the stuff cheaper, but you have to buy it in a big quantity. And we don't want to do that. We want to test the water first to make sure that it's a product that can sell well. So if we can make a good profit, by sourcing stuff from AliExpress, we then know that later on we can go onto Alibaba and get the stuff even cheaper, make even more of a profit. But we want to test the water first. We don't want to jump in and buy too much. We just want to buy a few, not spend too much, test the water and make sure how well the stuff sells. Because I found generally uh, we have to find 10 different products, try 10 different products, and out of those 10 different products, five of them, they're not really going to sell too well. We're going to have to sell them at probably like to break even. Uh, another four of those items are probably going to sell sort of fairly regular, you know, maybe one or two, three a, a week, something like that. You're still going to make a profit, but they're going to be a little bit slower. And then every now and then, like one in 10 products, we're probably going to bump into a product that's going to sell like hotcakes. Like in my case was these pool starters where you can make, you can make maybe thousands every single month, but just from one, pro just from one product. So um, let's have a look at these eye eyelashes here. So just paste that into there. A compartment and just to see what comes up so what have we got it looks like these or does that uh, that's just a container container so let's have, a, let's have a little click on one let's have a look we just want to gauge to see how much we can get this stuff for and see how much profit there is in there so this one here so these are going for £1.73, and that is for 10. So that's the same quantity that this other dude is selling them at. But we've also got to pay £1 shipping. So that's going to come, that's going to, come to like uh, £2.76. Uh, but if we buy it in a bigger quantity, so say we buy 10 of these, let's see. Because, you know, we, we can pay a little bit more off the bat. If we only test in the water, uh, we don't have to try and get the cheapest price possible. We just want to get get something listed and see if it sells. We could even go on eBay and we could buy this from this person here. 
and then resell it on our own eBay store just to see if there's a market, just to see if we can sell it. Uh, so, you know, that way we're going to get it a lot quicker. You know, if we're buying from this person here, let's have a look. Uh, 5th of May to the 7th of May. We're now the 29th of April. So we're looking at around about a week to get hold of this, which is actually a long time. We can do a lot better than this. Uh, we're going to go into that in a minute. But we could sell this and, and ship it same day and so the person gets it next day. So if we buy 10, we buy £3. Uh, it, the shipping cost is £3.86. So that's only 38 pence shipping per item. So that's going to land us round about roughly £2 per item if we buy these in 10. And we could probably do a bit more research on here and find these even cheaper. You know, I'm just quickly, I'm just doing this quickly because, I, you know, I could spend sort of half an hour here trying to find the best buyer, trying to find the cheapest price. You know, I'm just giving you like the, the gist of it so you get an idea of, of what's involved in finding products. Uh, so we know we can get this for two pounds. Uh, so let's go, you know, two pound worst case scenario. We, I know from experience we can probably get these for one pound easily. And especially if we go to Alibaba, we're going to get them even cheaper. We're probably going to get them for like 20p for 10, something crazily cheap. The formula that I like to use when I sell stuff is I want to get the price that I paid for something. So if I paid two pounds for this, I want to double that price. And well, I used to pay three pounds for these, the plastic ones. So if I've paid three pounds for plastic one of these, I want to double that price, so six pounds, and then add on any shipping and all our packaging and everything. So say now postage and packaging costs us one pound, uh, so three pounds times two, six pounds, plus another pound, seven pounds. I know that I want to be able to sell this at a bare minimum of seven pounds. Then that way I'm going to make a healthy profit. Uh, so in the case of this, for example, we know that we can get this product for two pounds. Worst case scenario. So double two pounds, four pounds, plus a pound for postage, five pounds. So at a bare minimum, we want to sell this product for five pounds. But look at this dude here. He's selling his product for five pounds 82. So he's probably making, without properly going and working it all out properly, pound for pound, say he's paying two pounds for the product, um, he's paying a pound to shipping, three pounds, a little bit of eBay fees. So without working it out properly, we're probably making two pounds fifty profit here from each item. Two pounds fifty of profit each item, and we know we're going to make more than that anyway. You know, this is this is just worst case scenario. So now let's have a look to see how many items he's actually selling. So remember two pounds fifty. And we're going to forget the 29th because that's today. So we're going to go on to the 28th and see how many he sold. So he sold one, two, 28, 29. So we're we selling these for two pounds fifty. And what did I say? Was it 29? So we go times 29 equals he's making 72 pounds fifty per day profit. Just selling these and remember we could make a lot more than that I'm, I'm working this out for worst case scenario so now now what we do so that's per day so now if we times this times this by 365 that is making us 26 thousand pounds every single year from one product so this this Put this to a Lamborghini, for example. So a Lamborghini, like the one that I've got, uh, I paid £210,000 for this one. So if we can make £26,000 a year, we're looking at, let's have a look, let's have a look. So £26,000, we're going to put in here the price of, uh, remember the £26,000, so the price of Lamborghini. Well, now you can get the same Lam Lamborghini a lot cheaper. So say £160,000 is we can get the same car for now. So you divide that by 26,000 roughly, what we can make every single year from selling uh, those eyelash boxes. And we're looking at six years to save up for a Lamborghini from one product, six years. And you know, this isn't even the cheapest Lamborghini. Uh, there's, there's a lot cheaper Lamborghinis out there. And um, you know, that's only from one product. So now imagine if you have 10 of these, you would speed that up by times 10. Even six products like this, you're gonna be able to save up for that car in one year. Just from finding six products that are selling as good as that one. And don't forget guys, this is just the first product that I've found. And I've, you know, I've gotta come clean here. I've gotta, I've gotta do a bit more research onto this. 
you know, I've got, there's, no, there's no guarantee that I'm going to sell as many as this person. There's no guarantee that, that this is even the exact same product that he's got. Uh, but, you know, as I said, out of 10 products that we look at, I normally find one really good winner. Four are still, are still going to sell fairly well. Uh, we're going to have probably five items that we're going to break even on. But the items that sell really well, we're going to make so much more money out of those than the ones that we lose a little bit from. It doesn't really matter. And remember, we're only spending a few pounds or a few dollars. We're not spending a whole ton of money on this stuff. So it's not really breaking the bank by trying to, by trying to find new products. So let's just quickly work out how much this is making us a month. So £2.50 and then we times that by 29 because we're selling 29 of these a day and we're coming up at £72 a day. So we times that by say 30 for a month and we're making £2,175 per month for one product. Now... I know that if you went to get a Lamborghini like my one on finance, say like £160 Lamborghini, if you went out to get that on finance, uh, you're going to be paying around about £1,000 to £1,200 a month uh, to pay off that finance. So one product like this, and then, you know, plus insurance, you're probably looking at around about three grand a year on insurance. I'll get mine pretty cheap. I'll get mine for 1,600. So there's plenty of money left in here. From one product, if you was to buy a Lamborghini on finance, you to pay for that finance and also pay for all the running costs of that car, just from one product. So I hope you guys can really see the power here and the power behind this. Now, if we quickly go back onto this uh, dude's listing, which is this listing here, let's go back. Uh, what I want to do is be able to improve the listing. So we know that these, he's making these amount of sales and he's making, at worst case, this amount of profit. So we want to have a look through his listing and see if we can do the listing better. If we can make a better listing, we're going to be able to sell this for even a higher price and we're going to make even more profit. You know, I'm kind of guessing that if we do this properly, we do our, our proper research and we we find the right supplier, we get it at the right price, and we optimize our listings. I found there to be 11 things that we have to do on each listing to make our listings give them the best chance of selling. You, you get one wrong, and, and you stand not a good chance of making uh, many sales. So for example, one of the things that I've got on my 11 list, uh, 11 thing cheat sheet, is you gotta get the right title in there, the right keywords, you gotta get the right photos, you gotta get the photos in the correct aspect ratio. Uh, then you have to get the right description and, and there's 11 things like this that we have to get right. They're all simple things and we get those right and we're just going to completely kill the competition. Not always, but most of the time and we stand a good chance of doing it. So having a look through this dude here, well, if we're finding a listing uh, that we want to improve on, we want to find a listing that's not perfect. So if we know that this dude is making so much money from a listing that's not perfect, that's even better for us because we know we can make that listing better and offer more value. So just a quick look for his listing. I know for a fact we can do better photos. I mean, he's got quite a lot of photos here, but they're not very good quality. It's difficult to really see what's going on. And I know for a fact that we can do a lot better photos. And, um, you know, I, I know I can do better photos than this from a cell phone, from a smartphone. And, and very easily edit these with like a free online editor to make these photos look a lot better than this. Uh, so I know for a fact I can do better photos, but not much work at all. Uh, scrolling down, what else can we do? He's offering free postage, that's good. But his delivery time is very long. I know I can do a lot better than that. I can do same day dispatch, and I know that I can get this product to the person the next working day. Uh, so, you know, if, you, if you're going to be looking on eBay for a certain product, if you can see uh, that you can get the product next day versus here for like in one week's time, uh, you're going to go with a product that you can get quicker. So I know we can definitely improve here. Uh, scrolling down, if we have a look through the description. Yeah, description's not bad, actually. Quick look through here. I, I haven't actually fully read it. Uh, this here is probably putting off the person actually. Please note, red writing reminder. Da, 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 da. So he's saying that the colour might be slightly different. It might be a little bit off. Uh, he's saying that the it's measured by hand and could be three centimetre different. This doesn't look very professional. So we could take all this out. We don't even need to mention the colour might be slightly out. I mean, is someone really going to care about some false eyelid eyelash compartments if they're going to be a slightly different colour? Probably not. So I wouldn't put that in there. I would measure it properly. 
and and put the proper size in there for a start. So I know we can definitely improve on, on this description here. So scrolling down. Oh, here's a big one. This is not a local address. This is a Chinese address. And let's have a look. Is he... So he's... Item location is in UK. So yeah, it's, that's good. But it's a Chinese seller. And I know for a fact that people would rather buy local. So if I had a UK address in here, I know for a fact uh, that that's going to definitely make me more sales. Uh, coming down also, 30-day return policy. I mean, we could bump that up to a 60-day return policy. That's going to give us a more exposure on eBay when people search for this product uh, for you know false eyelid lids, uh, containers. Uh, if, if we offer a 60-day return policy, it's going to give us a boost. We're going to come up higher in the listing. So we can do that there. And, you know, I don't always recommend giving the longer ret uh, return policy because sometimes sellers, uh, buyers may take advantage. But with something as simple as this and so cheap, I can't see many people returning these. It's, I really can't see it being an issue. So we can really do our utmost to, to get this item ranked as high as possible. I hope this can give you an insight of, of the potential of selling on eBay and how one just one one product can change your life. You know, if you can make over £2,000 a month from one product, and that could be extra income. Imagine what sort of a house you can have, what sort of a mortgage you could have from just that extra £2,000 a month. And, you know, imagine having 10 products like this. You could be making 20 grand a month just from 10 products. And I'm not saying that's gonna to happen to everybody, you know, I'm not, and I'm not saying that every product's gonna be a winner. But there's going to be products out there that are going to be even even more of a winner than this one. Obviously, there's going to be many products that's going to be worse. And of course, when you start going over to AliExpress, you're going to find many, many products that you might even find cheaper on eBay. And you're going to think to yourself, well, how am I going to sell it when people are selling it cheaper than me? Well, that's where we need to learn how to sell. Uh, you know, if in order to be profitable at this game, we want to be able to sell at a higher price than the competition. Uh, and to sell at a higher price than the competition, you need to make better listings. You need to offer more value. I've, I've, been, I've played the game before where you try and be the cheapest and it ends up putting you out of business. There's no money in being the cheapest person. There's always going to be the next guy that's going to try and undercut and then you undercut him and then someone else is going to undercut. And in the end, there's going to be no profit. You're going to be selling at a loss. So you need to find a way that you can sell at a higher price than the competition. And, you know, this is this is what is on my 11 step cheat sheet. It's 11 things that you have to do to your listings to give them the best chance to sell. So, you know, I'm going to do a quick little plug here. I've got a 11 step eBay power seller blueprint program. Uh, it's a paid for program and um, you don't have to get this. You know, I've, I'm, I'm going to start putting many more. Uh, videos on YouTube teaching you guys this sort of stuff but this is just sort of kind of beginner stuff you know this is gonna make you a little bit of extra money if you really want to take it up to the next level you really want to make a ton more money you want to maybe quit your job you want to buy supercars or you want to buy a nicer house you want to make this your full-time job uh, then in this 11 step uh, blueprint I'll share with you everything that I know about selling on eBay and I've got hundreds of people in on this program now and I've got many people making thousands every single month by just selling simple items, cheap items on eBay. So I'm going to put a link to that program down below. You know, as I said, if you're not sure, maybe you just want to make a little bit of extra cash on the side, you just want to dip your toes into the water, then just stick about on this channel because I'm going to be putting up many, many more videos just teaching you the basics to start selling on eBay. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, click on the link down below if you're really serious about this and you really want the training and everything that you need uh, to, become a, to become a pro at this eBay game. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I've inspired some of you guys uh, that, that anybody, with just an average guy like me, and any of you guys out there, you know, that have got dreams, uh, just to realize that it's possible if you take action and you learn and, and you take the right steps. You know, as I said at the start, you know, if you're pessimistic uh, or you're skeptical uh, or, or you don't believe in yourself, then this isn't gonna work. You know, I had many people doubting me. Many people told me it can't be done and I proved them wrong. And you know, as long as you believe in yourself and you've got that vision and you learn from the right people, 
Uh, there's no reason why you can't have that life that you've always wanted. You can quit that dreaded job. You can have the, the, the nicer house or the, the better cars or, or, or whatever it is that you want in life. You know, everybody's different. Everybody's got different hopes and dreams. But working for yourself is, is, the, is the easiest way to get to those dreams, especially a home-based business. And even in, in like today and age, now where we've got this coronavirus stuff going on, so I don't know when you're watching this video, you might be watching this when it's long gone. But at the moment, at the time of making this video, we've got this coronavirus stuff going on. And um, there's many businesses now gone out of business as many people have lost their jobs. And eBay sellers, a lot of eBay sellers are making more money now than they ever have before. So this really is an opportunity now to, to jump in and to start your very own online business and make more money than you've ever dreamed of. And it's not that difficult. You just got to know the right steps. You got to know the, the the things that you have to do to make your listings profitable. You got to know how to find the right suppliers, how to find the right products, how to build the right listings, uh, how to make the, the proper photos and all of that stuff. So that's all stuff that I can teach you. So that's it for this video, guys. See you soon. Build yourself a better future.